Ah, hello, welcome to my workbench, my messy, messy workbench. I cleared off just enough space to show you guys uh, what I've got going on here. Um, anyhow, this is my uh, beloved Kronos camera, and um, I have uh, several Voigtlander lenses, uh, micro four thirds mount, um, that I often use with my GH5. And um, I've been wanting to use better glass with my Kronos um, other than some of the cheaper C and CS mount lenses that I have. Um, so I reached out to um, RAF Camera in um, Belarus, I believe, and um, had um, some back and forth uh, communication with him there and um, was able to have him machine me a um, prototype um, Micro Four Thirds to CS mount um, right here. And this has uh, some set screws. It doesn't have the kind of convenient um, um, push button mount that a four thirds lens does, but it allows me to mount my um, four thirds Voigtlander lenses to uh, the camera. So, uh, as you can see here, it's pretty simple. Just uh, unscrew the lens caps and I put the lens on, swivel it over, tighten down this set screw here. Um, there are three. I found that it only really needs one, um, but three is extra insurance, I guess. But I'm able to put my um, four-thirds glass, my really, really nice glass on there, um, 0.095 um, f-stop. So I have really fast glass with this camera that needs lots of light and um, very easily change it between my 25 and my 17.5 7, and my 10. Uh, millimeter Voigtlander lenses, so um, I'm super happy to have this. I thought I'd share it. I will put the link in the description for this mount, um, and you'll be able to um, uh, use this mount if you have a Kronos camera or um, a CS mount camera that you need it. I found that there's no vignetting. Um, all the lenses work really well, um, and it's uh, so far given me great results. So again, it only works with manual four-thirds lenses, but um, it's super convenient to have this and uh, be able to mount it onto your Kronos camera. Okay, thanks for listening, uh, and remember to subscribe, building a channel. Thank you.